Aloha nui kakou uh, O wau keia o ka hookahi kanoha e kuana uh, Makahale O keia o kuni o Iapana ia nei Honolulu nei uh, Mena kia i uh, Ia nei mako e vehe vehe a koe i kamako hana i fia la Aloha everybody uh, We are here at the Consulate General of Japan The office of the Consulate General of Japan As kia i of Mauna Kea And we are here today to deliver a letter to the Consulate General uh, to reiterate and to reaffirm our position on Mauna Kea and the building of the 30 meter telescope. Now we know that on February 15th, Governor David Ige took a trip to Japan and he held a press conference on February 19th. And in his press conference, he informed us, the public, that he went to Japan uh, to lobby with Japanese institutions. And he met with the Ministry of Education, uh, Science and Technology reaffirming um, and, and reiterating to them his support of the 30 meter telescope and the state of Hawaii's commitment to ensuring safe access up Mauna Kea. And so um, we want to go ahead and respond to some of the statements that the governor made in that press conference. First of all, he mentioned that the Kia'i were engaged in a Ho'oponopono conversations. That's absolutely false. We are not engaged in any Ho'oponopono conversations what Kanaka and what Kia'i are engaged in is mass civil disobedience, is peaceful, non-violent resistance and a commitment to Kapu Aloha that so far after 234 days has resulted in no construction on Mauna Kea, in no desecration, and the access of no machines or affiliates of the TMT construction company uh, project. And so we want to make that very clear, that we are not engaged in Ho'oponopono. We are engaged in peaceful, non-violent resistance. Secondly, um, we know that there have been efforts made through the legislature on behalf of the governor to create a blue ribbon commission uh, for reconciliation between Native Hawaiians as it relates to the United States of America and the state of Hawaii. And we are here again to say that there is, we, we cannot try to create um, reconciliation as an effort to pacify Kanaka into accepting and allowing the desecration of Mauna Kea through the building of the 30 meter telescope. We know that this is a disguise to, to gain our approval somehow, but we will not fall for the trick. We're not foolish. We know exactly what this is and we will remain committed to protecting Mauna Kea. Um, are there issues of the past that need to be addressed? Absolutely. Um, but what we're addressing here is the further desecration of Mauna Kea through the building of the 30 meter telescope. We're not gonna allow that to happen. And so today we're gonna, uh, just a brief message to the people of Japan, to the governor of Japan, who is one of the funders of this uh, $1.4 billion project, that we, the people of Hawaii, do not consent to the desecration of Mauna Kea through the building of the 30 meter telescope. Our Mauna, Mauna Kea, is the most sacred and most revered Mauna to Kanaka Maoli, to the people of Hawaii. Just like Mount Fuji is sacred and revered by the people of Japan. So we ask you to recognize the same kind of relationship that we have to our sacred place and to respect it and to not infringe upon our rights as Kanaka to protect what is sacred to us. And lastly, we want to allow that we want to remind the Japanese people and the Japanese government that to desecrate our Mauna would be a dishonorable act. It would go against the friendly relations that Hawaii and Japan have had um, since the 1800s. We know that there was a treaty signed between Hawaii and Japan in 1871. And these relations have, um, up until this point, as best as possible, tried to remain friendly. And any act of desecration on Mauna Kea or of utilizing law enforcement and force to remove peaceful, nonviolent protectors would be a dishonorable would be a dishonorable act that would really go against the history and the foundation of our relationship. And so we ask the people of Japan to recognize us as a real people, to recognize our beliefs, our cultural, spiritual foundations, our language and our history, and our right to have and protect sacred, sacred places the same way that you as a people have. Recognize us as human beings, see us as equals the way we have seen you as equals from the time of our kupuna. And if not, if you choose to continue down this path, we will stand, we will resist, we will kupa'a, 
We will win. TMT will not be built on Mauna Kea. Work with us as we make this happen. If not, then we'll be forced to take the position that we've taken over the past 234 days, and that is to protect our sacred Mauna. Yeah. So with that, we will be going ahead in a few minutes and delivering this letter to a representative um, who I believe is gonna come out. We are being told we're not gonna be allowed to go in to deliver it. And so when that representative comes out, we will deliver it and we will read that message to them. Mahalo everybody for joining us. Um, we remain committed to Kapu Aloha. We remain committed to protecting Mauna Kea and we remain committed to winning. Mahalo nuya o kua pau. To the Honorable Koichi Ito, Consul General, from the Protectors of Mauna Kea. And to the people and government of Japan, Aloha Nui no Kako. On February 15th, Governor David Ike traveled to Japan in part to lobby Japanese institutions to support the construction of the 30 meter telescope on Mauna Kea. We are here today to restate and reaffirm our position that the TMT has no place on Mauna Kea, not now and not ever. In his February 19th press conference, Governor Ige shared that he met with the Ministry of Education, Science and Technology, the Japanese This statement is intended as a response to Governor Ige's points and to provide our own clarification to the people and governing institutions of Japan. First, Governor Ige misrepresented to the Japanese people that Ho'oponopono, or conflict resolution, is occurring. There is no Ho'oponopono process taking place with Mauna Kea Kia'i, or protectors. What is taking place is mass resistance against the TMT in the form of a seven-month occupation on Mauna Kea rooted in peace and non-violence. Second, it has also been our consistent message that any attempt to construct TMT will be met by widespread and committed peaceful non-violent resistance. The governor's proposal to establish a Blue Ribbon Commission to address reconciliation for the U.S. and State of Hawaii's past mistreatment of Native Hawaiians is nothing more than an attempt to pacify the Hawaiian people and secure our consent to the TMT project. Please do not be misled. No attempt at reconciliation will result in our consent to the TMT project on Mauna Kea. So our message to the people and government of Japan is one, the Kanaka Maoli protectors of Mauna Kea, with the support of our allies in Hawaii and around the world, do not consent to the construction of the massive 30 meter telescope on Mauna Kea. Two, Mauna Kea is the most sacred and revered mountain to Kanaka Maoli. Similar to the reverence of your country, uh, similar to the reverence your country and people have for Mount Fuji. 
Building the TMT on Mauna Kea would be a dishonorable act that would inflict serious harm upon Kanaka Maoli, the Hawaiian people, and our national lands that were illegally seized by the U.S. in 1893. To ignore Kanaka Maoli and continue to pursue construction of the 30-meter telescope disregards the irreparable harm that TMT's construction would cause to Kanaka Maoli by violating our traditional land rights, religious and cultural practices, and desecrating our most revered mountain. In consideration of all of the above, we respectfully demand that Japan withdraw all support for the proposed construction of the 30-meter telescope on Mauna Kea. By doing so, the government and people of Japan will prevent further intrusion, desecration, and destruction upon the sacred lands of Mauna Kea. In halting the pursuit to build the TMT on Mauna Kea, Japan will avoid violations of international law and human rights injustices against Kanaka Maori. Taking affirmative and decisive action to respect Kanaka Maori now will restore the peace and friendship established between Japan and Hawaii nearly 150 years ago with the sign of the treaty between King David Kalakaua of the Hawaiian Islands and Emperor, Emperor Meiji of Japan in 1871. We ask you to join us today to protect Mauna Kea. Enduring peace and friendship, the protectors of Mauna Kea. So we offer you this letter. We hope that you will uh, give it to the Honorable Koichi Ito and to reiterate our position uh, from the Hawaiian people on the building of the 30 meter telescope on Mauna Kea. He said, she said that uh, I can reply to you in Japanese. That's right. Okay. Okay. Uh, I'm sorry. I don't know how, but what's the meaning of the whole shari you see? But uh, anyway, I received it. Go get your shot. Mahalo. Mahalo for your time. I want to offer um, this time also prayers for the people of Japan. We had great relationships, one of the things that we know for the health and safety of the people of Japan. We'd like to offer a prayer um, to show our solidarity, to support and to care, and to mutual respect.
しちゃおったりするっていう意味がないのですが。Aloha again, everybody. Mahalo for being here today.、Um, just a quick update: we were we went ahead and we delivered the letter that we had、uh, drafted to the Consulate General、uh, here in Hawaii, the Honorable Kuechi Ito. We gave it to a representative, and now we hope、um, you know this is just clarification in case perhaps you know 234 days of peaceful, non-violent resistance on Mauna Kea was not clear enough. In case the chants and cries of Kuukia Imauna were not clear enough, in case the、um, the endurance of the wind and the rain and the cold and the different elements were not clear enough, we wanted to go ahead and give a letter that would clearly state our position on the 30 meter telescope and its building on Mauna Kea, and that would allow us the opportunity to address some of the issues that we believe、uh, Governor David Ige. Was talking about and bringing up on his this,、um, on his trip to Japan. We want to make sure that we were able to get our message to the Japanese continent, so that our message and the stance of our people would not be misrepresented. And so, hopefully, now, if it wasn't before, the message is very, very clear to the government and the people of Japan that we do not consent to the further desecration of Mauna Kea through the building of the 30-meter telescope. We will do whatever it takes in peace and non-violence to ensure that, and we remain committed. So, if you folks have any questions, we'd be happy to、uh, give you some answers.、Uh, do, do you identify who the gentleman was that met with you? Ikuko. Do we know that gentleman? His name and title. Matsuzawa. Can you come and answer for her, please? Mr. Matsuzawa. Mr. Matsuzawa. And what was his title? Do you know? Just a general, like a regular. We had intended to enter into the building and to deliver the message there.、Uh, we were told this morning that we would not be able to enter, and so they said they would send out a representative. We didn't know who that would be until that person came outside.、Um, but again, our, our main purpose was to make sure that it was delivered. So hopefully, it goes ahead and delivers it to the appropriate people. What did he say in Japanese? Right here.、Um, so, he said,、uh, "This is Ikupo." Ikupo、okay. is our translator. translator. Okay. Yes. <laughs> he said. Okay. He said he accepted the letter, a statement, officially, and then he will deliver to Kouichi Ito, a consulate general of Canada. Anything, any other things, officially. So、yes. it seemed like a little bit of a long exchange. So I thought, yeah, yeah, what are、yeah. you guys talking about? I was talking about his background. Then he said a、uh, great. Well, we know that the、um, the mayor issued a truce in the end of December, saying it would go until the end of February, which has obviously come and passed now.、Um, but there's there's nothing happening as far as we know. We have received no communication, and again, the the mayor has said many times that if anything were to happen, that they would be communicated before. So we don't anticipate anything happening,、um, and and it it, rem it remains as it is that there's no at this point, as far as we know, imminent threat. Of desecration on Mount Kia. However, it's also clear that the Kia remain on the mountain just in case, and so、uh, things are as they were last week. And just to clarify, 
there is no formal truce, yeah? The media has been using that term truce. We've never entered into a truce. The, 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 the mayor, Harry Kim, offered to stand down and they withdrew all their police off the mountain and they opened up the road. And because of that, because the road was open, we decided to move off to the side to not impinge um, traffic that was heading up to the Mauna, the normal traffic, and for safety reasons. But there is no formal truce, nothing's been negotiated. They withdrew, we decided to open the road in response to that because we don't want to be blocking the road unnecessarily. So just to clarify, we are still on the mountain, we're still committed, and we are still preventing TMT from desecration. Yeah. So any plans to move back to blocking the road? If necessary, we will block the road from TMT construction if that's what it takes to protect Mauna Kea from desecration. Any other questions? Mahalo for taking the time and joining us today. We really appreciate it. Have a great rest of the day. Mahalo. Thank you. Mahalo. Hey, So we're here at the Japanese consulate in Nu'uanu. And um, the Kiai came, Kaukai, Havane, Andre, Perez, uh, Lena Ala, Slingon. Kaukai, you, you like to uh, say anything right now to everybody if they want you right now, brother? Aloha nui kako, uh, mahalo, ke kupa a mau ana, maluna ko oya iyo, me ke aloha aina, me ke malama na ya mauna kea. Maloko no ka, ka lo ihi o keia va. Kainea, Kaluhi, uh, we're still in it, we're still winning, uh, and we're still gonna win. Ew. You know, nothing has changed, obviously, there's no, with, with the removal of law enforcement, it seems like no imminent threat to Mauna Kea is upon us. However, we know that the TMT uh, construction and the project is not dead. We know that the news that came out of Japan last week is no indication at all that Japan is pulling out of the project and that they're not moving forward, uh, which again is why we're here today to remind them that it is our position that they will not move forward and if they choose to do so, we will not allow that. And so to all of our people, whether the Kupuna blockade has been on the road or off the road, the commitment is the same. The commitment has not changed. The purpose has not changed. The objective has not changed and the outcome will not change. We're going to win. We're going to stick together. We're going to see this out for the, um, for the long haul um, in whatever way necessary and whatever way we can. All of us in this movement, the hundreds and thousands of us have different kuleana. We participate and we engage and we contribute in different ways. So however it is that you're doing that, know that it is because of you, it is because, it is because of your engagement, it is because of your participation and your sacrifice and your commitment that we are winning. It is not because of, of a few individuals. It is not because of a tent in the middle of the road. It is because of all of us. We do this together. And so, as, as someone who has been a voice of this and has put out a kahe to people multiple times, you folks, our people, answer every single time. And if it's not clear to you, I want you to know that we know that you are vital, important. You are the reason why we are winning. You are the reason why we will win. We won't give up, you won't give up. So, kupa akako. Um, there's a battle on the Mauna, there's battle other places too, right? There's things going on in the legislature, there's things that we can do here in the consulate, the general of the consulate of Japan. There's things around the world, we know there's things happening in California with TMT board meetings. We know Japan has meetings, and Canada has meetings, and India has meetings. So there's, there's ways to contribute in Kokua all over the world. So know that we're still in it. Uh, you know, being on the middle of the road or not being in the middle of the road takes away some of the attention from us. There's no media coverage, so our message is not out there as often as it is, but it has not changed. It's the same. Whether the media covers it or doesn't cover it, whether you hear it or you don't hear it, ku kia i mauna, ahiki i aloha aina hopeloa. So, mahalo nui ya ukua pau. Mahalo. Mahalo, kawakai. Mahalo. Naika ilo. So, right, and also the conduct of how we conduct ourselves, non-violent direct action. And that is at the that is at the peak of all of us as Kiai. Mm -hmm. Alright everybody so with that being said uh
guys have a beautiful day and we're still here like Kaho Kai said, right? So Kia Kopu. Kia Kopu. Kia Kopu. Kia Kopu. Kia Kopu.